I'm John Boyce. I'm Cajun Mutant Gambit. Welcome to Seinfeld. Ryan, I smuggled a couple of bricks across the border. That sounds bad. The I have Can to call the police. The Canadian-American border, so you better uh, call the Mounties. So we are going to double up on this one. Usually we get different packs of cards, right. but we've got so many of these trading cards, which, as we've already discussed, uh, have, what, UV protection? UV protection. The sun hates cards, wants to destroy them whenever possible. So that's why cards in the 90s, they started giving them ultraviolet protection so right. that the sun wouldn't fade them. The sad irony being that these have never seen the sun. They have this thing that says, you can catch the flutie, which sounds like <laughs> a 40s term for gonorrhea or something. You can catch the flu. T. T. Um, see, back for details and... <laughs> Oh wait, it's just, so there's oh yeah, it thousand. says here, go outside when it's cold and don't drink orange juice. Yep, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's how you do it. Oh, well, all right. Qu question oh, one. Oh no. These are mostly <laughs> stuck together. They're stuck together. Oh boy. All right, They're so. stuck together. So now we have to, all right, let's see. So they just can... formed one super card. I they were destroyed don't... by their own hubris. We're going we're gonna to send these to the lab to get them unstuck. But oh before my God. we do, I want to talk about Richie Hall. Yeah. Look at how little he is and look at how big the helmet is. That's cute. He can like. That's get, like super adorable. He can take a nap He's in it. He's 5'8". He's like, you know, if you turned it, turned his helmet upside down, it'd be one of those rich, evil people lounge right. chairs. I have uh, a player, uh, Chris Major, who's 5'9". So based <laughs> on these limited uh, cards, I can only conclude that Canadian football is tiny NFL. It must be. That's Lil NFL. Lil That's what they should call it. Listen, can we can we uh, have quiet on the set while I? Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Why? There's not even. He's making the right face too. <laughs> <laughs> David Popel. <laughs> I haven't peeled off the other side. This is Glenn Kolka. Here's the front of his card. He loves hugs. He loves hugs. Look at that. What's more Canadian than just loving hugs? Nothing. John, what are the Canadian sports? Uh, let's see. You have uh, hockey. Yes, definitely. You have being nice. Yep. You have Canadian football. Yep. You have being friendly. Yep. You have MMA. Uh-huh. And cocaine. 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 Cocaine is cocaine. Glenn Kolka has done all of those things. Glenn Kolka definitely did cocaine. <laughs> With the Ottawa Rough Riders, yeah, he was arrested and convicted of cocaine possession in 1992 and fined $300 by the, by the CFL. You know, it does and, get your heart rate up. So. And in true Mighty Ducks fashion, ordered to act as the organization's official anti-drug spokesman. Oh, man. Kids, don't do drugs or you will lose $300. <laughs> Wait. I, have a, I have a magic trick card. I'm not done. John, flip that card. Flip. You see this is stuck to another card, right? John, flip that card over. What? <laughs> what? 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 Double flutie. What? Double flutie. Double, Double flutie. flutie. What if these are what all cards are like in Canada? What if Canadians open American trading cards and they're like, oh, they're all loose? You... Oh, I'm going to lose them. Their milk comes in bags. Their uh, cards come in loaves that you have to, <laughs> you have to get <laughs> a bread slice. knife. It's like an English muffin. It's kind of sliced. But not, not all the really. way. You, you need still a knife it. still. Ugh. Like. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Like, you could kill some. You could kill someone with that. Okay, so this is more of. I'm. I'm gonna. This is a slow reveal, but yeah, I just. Right. It's. It's about um, a conference final more right. than anything. And this is the the photo they decided to use to signify that. Two hot. <laughs> <laughs> this fella just lying on the oh. ground, possibly with like spinal damage. His name is Ham. <laughs> His name is Ham. That says Ham. ham. Two men celebrating <laughs> over Ham on the ground. You know what? I want to take this opportunity while we have it to talk about the CFL at large because the history of the CFL is, is actually really amazing. Um, there was a, you know, the Grey Cup is the Canadian version of the Super Bowl. The first ever Grey Cup. Okay. Uh, a normal team won, the Toronto Argonauts. Right. The losing team was the Toronto Parkdale Canoe Club. It was a canoe club. In the alternate universe, it is exactly like ours, except for this one fact. The Argonauts lose that game 
to the whatever, whatever canoe club. Canadian football doesn't exist, right? If your first championship game is won by a club specifically devoted to maybe the least football thing possible, yeah. you can't keep going. Um, you know, or maybe it would have been canoe football. Oh, this is a cardboard, who cares? Ryan, what you got? I was already be excited about it for once. No, nah, I was just trying to shield God! myself. Trying to shield Everybody's myself. Everybody's like, oh, Ryan's so mean to John about his precious cardboard. Now I'm like, hey, John, good job. Fine, screw it. I'm um, done. I'm over it. I'm not going to let you hurt me again. Um, I, want, I do want to talk about our sweet Miracle Baby double Darren Flutie card. Uh, it's Darren Flutie from all possible angles. Mm -hmm. You get your special little, there you go. And the odds of that happening are 1 in 25,600. It doesn't seem that high. Yeah, I guess it's really not that high. What's the highest number you can think of? <laughs> 12. For me, it's 25,000. <laughs> this is even higher than that. It's the highest number I ever heard of. Well, Ryan, I think I uh, had the grand privilege of pulling out the worst card of the week. We found the two Stampeders uh, standing and high-fiving above Tracy Ham. Tracy Ham. Tracy Ham. He looks like he might be knocked out cold. He could be I, seriously injured. Well, I looked him up, and thank God he is okay. He's, He's not like a paraplegic or anything. But, right. like, that that speaks to a different day and age where it was okay to just kill a guy. Let's put it up. I like it, and I like you, John. Oh, where, does like it, where, where do you rank it amongst our other contenders for worst <laughs> card of all time? You know, I don't think it's as thoroughly crappy as Checklist Checklist because yeah. I just don't think it can get worse than that. Right. Uh, I will say that it is more better, bad, worse than Mike Scott. <laughs> sure, I don't know what that means. Right in the middle, Aww. Tracy Ham. Tracy Ham. Makes me sad. Well, you know, Ryan, we had, uh, we had a tough run of it today. We had a bunch of stuck together packs, including a bunch of stuck together packs we're never gonna open, but just wanted to say, I'm really happy I'm stuck together with you.